What's up guys, Jason here. In this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to make a simple and efficient Minecraft Bedrock Gravity Block Duper. This Gravity Block Duper works on 0.19 and on all platforms of Minecraft Bedrock, whether you play on a phone, tablet, Xbox, PlayStation, Nintendo Switch, or PC. As you can see here, this Gravity Block Duper allows you to easily get a lot of concrete powder, sand, gravel, and anvils. For this gravity block duper, you'll need two chests, one hopper, two grindstones, one water bucket, one lever, one redstone repeater, one redstone torch, one redstone, one sticky piston, two string, uh, 27 ladders, by the way, the amount of ladders you need may vary, 33 slabs, about a stack and 36 solid blocks, you can use any type of solid block that you want, a couple examples of solid blocks include cobblestone or wood planks, and finally, one of the gravity block that you want to duplicate, by the way, you can change the gravity block that you want to duplicate. The first step is to go to the end dimension. Once you're in the end, go over to an end gateway. By the way, if you do not have any end gateways, make sure you have killed the ender dragon. Once you have chosen the end gateway where you want to make this gravity block duper at, place two solid blocks on one side of it. Then go to another side. Now place two blocks over here. Then go to another side. Then place two blocks over here. Once you are done creating that outline, place three blocks over here, three over here, and three over here. Now place three blocks over here, three over here, and three over here as well. After you are done placing all those blocks, go over here, then place three blocks. The next step is to place three blocks over here, four blocks over here, six blocks over here, three blocks over here, and finally one block at this spot. After you're done with that step, break this block, then place a block over here. Then go over to this side. Now place a grindstone at this spot and a grindstone over here. Those grindstones will ensure the water flows correctly while also still allowing gravity blocks to go through the end gateway. The next step is to place two blocks over here and a block at this spot. Now go over here, then place a sticky piston at this spot. Make sure the sticky piston is facing downwards. After you have placed that sticky piston, break these three blocks. Then place three blocks over here, one over here, and one over here as well. Then break this block. After you have placed those blocks, place a lever over here, a redstone torch over here, and a redstone repeater over here. Make sure the two prongs of that redstone repeater are facing that way. Now place a redstone at this spot. As you guys can see there, that should create a redstone clock. Once you have created that redstone clock, flick this lever down to shut it off. Then click this redstone repeater three times. As you guys can see there, the redstone repeater should now look like that. The next step is to place water over here. That water should flow like that. Now place a string over here and a string at this spot. The string will prevent concrete powder from turning into concrete if it is placed under the sticky piston. The next step is to go below the gravity block duper. Then stand under that block. Now place blocks from the ground all the way up to that block. Then place ladders on the side of this pillar. Those ladders will allow you to easily access the end gateway. The next step is to place slabs on the walls. Once you have done that, place a slab at each of these spots. Then place a slab over here and a slab over here. Those slabs will prevent endermen from spawning on those areas. The next step is to place a gravity block that you want to duplicate over there. In this gravity block duper, you can duplicate sand, gravel, anvils, or concrete powder. I'm going to use concrete powder. As you guys can see there, the concrete powder will not turn into concrete because there is string. The next step is to go through the end gateway. Once you have gone through the end gateway, don't move. Then break the block that you're standing on. Then break this block as well. Now place a hopper at this spot. Then break these three blocks. Make sure the nozzle of that hopper is facing downwards. Now place two chests over here. As you guys can see there, that should create a double chest. Now break this block. After you've done that, break any blocks that are on the hopper. Then crouch down and place a slab on the hopper. Now place a block at each of these spots. Then place a block on top of each of those blocks. 
This would be the collection system of the gravity block duper. Whenever you're on this side of the end gateway, the gravity blocks that got duplicated will get picked up by the hopper, then funneled into that collection's chest. The next step is to go to one side of this end gateway, then place two blocks over here. Then place blocks from the ground all the way up to that spot. Then place ladders on the side of this pillar. That will allow you to easily access this end gateway. I am now going to do a quick fly around so that you can check and make sure you have made this gravity block duper correctly. Over there, there should be that ladder. Over here, there should be the end gateway. This part should look like that. Over here, there should be the redstone clock. Make sure the redstone repeater looks like that. Over there, there should be that sticky piston. Over there, there should be that water. This side should look like that. This side should look like this. Finally, this side of the end gateway should have this collection system and that ladder. How this gravity block duper works is, whenever you flick that lever up, the redstone clock will get activated. The redstone clock will cause the sticky piston to pick up and drop the gravity block below it. By picking up and dropping the gravity block next to the end gateway, the gravity block can be duplicated. The water will then push the duplicated gravity block through the end gateway. Whenever you go to this side of the end gateway, the gravity blocks that get duplicated can be picked up by the hopper then funneled into that collection's chest. I am now going to show you how to use this gravity block duper. To use it, first go up here. Then flick this lever up. Now just wait. The longer you wait, the more gravity blocks will get duplicated. By the way, you need to be waiting somewhere near this gravity block duper in order for the gravity blocks to be duplicated. I recommend you have this gravity block duper turned on for about an hour or less at a time before you go to the other side of the end gateway to collect the items. That is because if there are too many duplicated items on the other side of the end gateway before you collect them, the world can lag or crash. Whenever you want to collect the items, first flick this lever down to shut off the gravity block duper. Then throw an ender pearl through the end gateway. That should send you to the other side of the end gateway. Whenever you do that, you will collect some of the duplicated items in your inventory. The other duplicated items will go into the collection's chest. By the way, duplicated items will not go into the collection's chest unless you are on this side of the end gateway. As you can see here, by using this gravity block duper for a few minutes, I was able to get about 3.5 stacks of gravity blocks. To get back over to the gravity block duper, just climb up this ladder, then through an ender pearl through the end gateway. If you ever want to duplicate a different gravity block, break the block below the sticky piston. Then place the gravity block you want to duplicate over here. If when you go to the collection system, you see there are a lot of items at that spot, I recommend you pick them up. I hope you enjoyed learning how to make this simple and efficient automatic Minecraft Bayrock gravity block duper. Please like, comment, subscribe, and check out my other Minecraft videos. Thanks for watching.